Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this file, and it is a train wreck waiting to happen. He is a plasma cutter, and there's 99 objects right here in this 12 by 10 area. And you can see this isn't, he actually, I think he bought this file. This isn't going to work for plasma cutting. There's too much going on. And first of all, the person I'm doing it for you, you are viewing it in simple wireframe, which really doesn't matter, but you can get so much more value out of if you go to enhance version or viewing in case you need to you know, look to see if there's no background behind it, you know, because you can put the yellow box trick and see if, make sure there's no white. So the way to do this, and I've already kind of started one, we're going to get this guy out of the way for a second. So this 99 objects, objects, I mean, not nodes, it's 99 objects. There's no telling how many nodes there are. Take your smart fill tool and fill that in. And I just happened to pick, I didn't happen to pick green, just happened to be my, and I nudged it out of the way. And then I can left click, right click in red. I do everything in red. And your setting is at uh, a half, half of a point uh, with my plasma cutter. And this would be true for a laser. If you're going to cut this out, you need to go to hairline. And now let's select it with the shape tool. And you have 3,441 nodes on 16 subpaths. 3,441. 3, That's way too many. And the subpaths are these circles. If we go to a range break curve apart then we can look at those individual circles so there's your sub path but look at the nodes just on that little bitty guy so you could select that and reduce the nodes I'm going to press in the number 20 and now you've only got three nodes I would actually delete well had them all selected so you can't do that I would delete that one that looks equally as good and then for the rest of them, I would, and now it's, so now it's one object and not how many this was. I'm going to select them all. And it's, it's not selecting the internal parts. It's just selecting the external part. We're going to, we're going to, well, you know what, before we do that, let's make a copy of it. And also that's would bug me. You've got your duplicate set on 0.25 by 0.25. And there's no reason for that. And I'll show you why right here. Put it on zero. I'm going to delete this guy. I'm going to now duplicate it. Control D and it's right on top. So I can nudge it out of the way. And then when I'm finished, I can nudge it back. That's why you don't want that 0.25 by 0.25. But that's my preference. Now this one, I'm going to take my shape tool. I'm going to grab this and take my shape tool. And I'm going to reduce the nodes by 20%. Now, and I don't know if that's percentage. It's just a number. Now we only have 687 nodes versus 20 or 3,222. That's a lot less already. You know, it's like a fifth of it. And then I would go through there and critique this thing. We haven't changed it very much. The look, you know, we, uh, let's do this. Let's fill this in with yellow and we'll make this one green. Let's nudge it over there and see I left some little bitty, the inner parts of the tree. Let's put the green to the back of the page and bring the yellow out. We haven't changed it very much because you can't even see any green. As you can see, we haven't changed it, but we reduced the nodes. Now let's take the whole thing and left click, no fill. But we still have a bunch of nodes. And in plasma cutting, 
node or or enemy. So here's our old one. Here's our new one. I must have moved the new one. Here's what I would do. I would critique this thing. See, it's only got 687 nodes. I would look at every limb. I wouldn't want this sharp corner. I would want a rounded corner, you know, for the plasma touch torch to go around, especially on your interior nodes. This has two nodes. Man, we got rid of one of them already. You know, you've got to think about your plasma torch has to get between here. You know, make your corners rounded. Uh, the file was marked evergreen, so these are evergreen trees. Then there's a lot of nodes that are basically two nodes when so close, just click on one and delete it. You haven't changed anything. And then you can make that rounded. Click on that one and make it rounded. Uh, there's a lot of nodes I was looking at. Like right here, there's two nodes almost touching. Delete one of them. You didn't change a thing. Your plasma, plasma torches go from node to node to node. See, here's two that are so close together, they're stacked up on each other. That didn't change the file whatsoever. And you could go through here and change this. Now just, for instance, right click on this and you could turn it into a cusp, which it already is. And a cusp is a one handled item that you can move just one side without it moving the other. Like there's another node. Just go through and go around and, and um, You'll save yourself a lot of trouble. Like this node right here, probably not needed. Well, it makes it a little bit. But you can make that curve back up, you know, with making the slope of the ground. I, maybe I wouldn't change the ground too much. But once you get the outside done, then you can go and do your inside. Now, I don't know if this happened because what I did by reducing nodes, but you, that's why you want to go all the way around it. You can't have this loop. You, know, you just can't have it. So what you can do is just bring these arrows in and get rid of that loop. So I would go around and look at every exterior cut. I mean, there's some nodes right in here that are so close. You know, they're not needed. That's a really sharp point. You know, you could get rid of a node and have, still have a point out there. There's no node there. You know, there's two nodes there. There's a node there. There's two nodes there. And in just a few minutes, we're going to see how many nodes we got rid of. And by doing this, you're looking at every... See, there's three nodes almost on top of each other. And you can actually see it change the nodes or not. Now, I wouldn't want this type corner, but you can very easily do that. Bring this one in. That's too tight. And you got to think about inside versus outside. Uh, your outside cuts could burn away and your inside cuts are too sharp for a plasma. And this will actually help laser engravers too, getting rid of nodes and making something smoother. Like there's two nodes. Now we've done the outside, but we still have these inner parts. You know, you could go through and just select these nodes. Now, let's back up here. If you have X8 and above, you can use a smooth tool. I need to move that to about a quarter of an inch big. Grab that and just look how it made it look so much nicer. Let's look how many nodes there are there now. There's only two nodes. You know, that's cool. Now, what you can also do with this, if you didn't want to do that to all of them, we could do this, you know, take your, if you have X8 and above, you can use the smoothing tool, smooth that out, smooth this one out. You've got to be clicked on it. You, you see the bounding box and you can move that around. You know, you could get your pick tool, take that shape and see it's just deleting and then control D and make a duplicate. And move that up here and angle a little bit. Just double click it and make it a rotation. So it doesn't look like 
you know, it was the, the same one copied over. So in that few minutes, let's see if we just look around real quick. Like here's an interior cut. And I've looked at this gentleman's website and he does some outstanding work. So I know he um, will want to make this look outstanding. Like there's two nodes right there. So in just a few minutes, and I just, you know, a tree, square corners, just don't make it. Okay, we're going to convert this to a curve because it was a line. And just make these rounded. You know, look at it again. This is a line, so we'll make it a curve. And we get, then our, get our handles. You could have some sharp corners, but not all of them. So let's look to see how many nodes we have now. Now we got 662. I can't remember what we started with, but we re reduced it by 80 at least. And then if you did all your interiors, so your smart field tool is your friend as far as doing that and making everything solid and uh, try using that and also try setting your settings at uh, your nudge distance at 0.25 or 0 0.0 and always I hit the smart field tool and everything view everything in enhanced especially with a file like this because you can look to make sure there's nothing in the background because if you look at it in wireframe you actually had simple wireframe you can't see anything so no matter what you do you've got to go to view and enhance to get that box or enhances your best anyway i hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching